give thanks. Sing it. You know, every day. Real estate here in our world, brother. We give thanks. For real. You spend all that money on your watch. How much time you spend with your son? So much money in the boat. How much you spend with the friends you love? They're saying in the fish they have different class. No, no I'm just saying. Some All fish are what they call, call one place. Some fish are what they call bottom feeders. Oh yeah. They feed off the stuff that falls down to the bottom. Well, all them, are, all them are going in your belly, right? Now all them come out of the sea. I'm just gonna do all of them together. Whatever you want. Good night, guys. Welcome to my vlog. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today is just a freestyle. We're freestyling. It's not like we have a specific topic or anything. Um, it's about what time is it now? Um, 10:46. 10:46 in the night. And because I suffer from insomnia, I think I'll, I'm going to find something different to do with my self at night, other than watching TV or something. I'm going to make some escovite fish. So. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm going to fry some fish and I'm going to escalate it from tonight. Because you know that when you just fry the fish and then you put the, the sauce over it, that's not escalate fish. You have to make it stay like for 12 hours or more in order for you to say, yeah, you have escalate fish. So that's what I'm doing. And I was saying tomorrow is that I have different types of fish, by the way. Like, it's not just one type of fish I'm escalating. Like, what do you call these ones? Um, below the head, one that they take off the head. You have porgy, and in Jamaica we call these prat, but you call them herring. They call them herring here. So I'm doing that. And what were these ones? Goldfish. Yeah. Yeah, goldfish. Jamaican goldfish. Jamaican goldfish, right? But I'm listening. I'm mixing up all of them. I'm washing them now in lemon water. Um, Americans don't wash their fish in lemon water. It's a Jamaican thing where we clean our chicken in lemon or vinegar. We have to always go over our things and clean them. That's how we are. Mars don't know about that type of life. You have to wash your fish regardless, you know. I was saying that I wanted to season some um, separate, but all of them come out of the sea. There's no difference. I'm not going to season all of them and fry all of them. And it's gonna beach them, not gonna separate them or anything. So tonight is like a freestyle night where we just we just chat and uh, you come in my kitchen with me and watch what I'm doing. Other than just chatting or doing hauls. What kind of drinks is that? What is that? Vodka and cranberry. You might not like it. Vodka and cranberry? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna drink that. But I want to um I'm gonna wash these again. I think I should separate them though. I don't know why I feel like I should separate them. I don't know why. I feel like I should at least give um lighter skin ones. A, a, a bowl and then the dark skin one go to themselves racism <laughs> it's racism see the lighter color fish go in that bowl the dark one stay in this bowl Come yeah i will yeah guys so just to show you i'm gonna show what i'm doing yeah so over here, we have the light skin fish, and we have the dark skin. We separate them. It's racism. White and black go separately. 
but I like um I like escovid fish. I really like it. My mom does it the best though, and I can never ever ever do it like my mom. Never ever do like my mom. But my mom does it the best. Um I like to clean them over at, when I finish cleaning my fish there should be no like I just like cleaning up cleaning my fishes either in um, vinegar vinegar or lime I use vinegar or lime or both a moment ago I was using, I was using the um, lime I use vinegar so we're not here to judge or we're not here to say who can cook or who can't cook that's just how I do my thing you might do yours differently to each his own you know to each his own um if there was one way of cooking there would not be a cookbook like for different um thing you know i mean a chicken you have like over two thousand ways to cook a chicken over two thousand ways so who's to say that the way you're doing is right or the way other person's use is wrong. There's no right or wrong way to cook. As long as when you cook it, it tastes good. That's what really matters. And like when you're cooking, you follow um, the hygienic procedures. Then who's to say that you're wrong or you're right? I could look at a source that these fishes are what we call sprack in Jamaica. I could swear. Anyway, they call them herring here. In Jamaica, we call them sprat. But they look, to me, they look just like um, sprat. Doesn't matter. They're all going down. They're going one place. And if nobody care, if nobody care, I know that both of both of these people in this house, they don't care as long as it tastes good. Neither Dan or Mari scared. They don't care that it tastes good. They don't care about what type it is or nothing. So. Morris, why not put my straw in ice something? Guys, he made a drink for me, no straw. Why not put my straw in ice something? Huh? So, me can't have a drink, you know? You know, I have no straw. Anyway, people. And don't don't try to send me a cum because it sounds so horrible. <laughs> Oi! Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't say it. Don't say me a comic. Sounds horrible. I can't reach it. It's behind me. So she covered the camera. Can you share it for a long time? Eh? And I want another paper towel. Yeah. Please and thank you. It's not even moving. Oh, there it is. You see? It's up here. Thank you. You're welcome. And can I have a hand towel, please? Mm -hmm. Take one out I color when you're finished. Ay, ay, ay. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. So people, this vlog is just a vlog, you know, it, it, it doesn't have a structure, it really doesn't have a structure, more than I'm going to do escovit fish, and it's not that I'm teaching anybody how to do escovit fish, I'm just doing it, showing you what I plan to do, it's like a cure for my insomnia, I really don't sleep, I really actually don't sleep, like la the night before last night, I went to my bed like after 4, in the morning, and then today again i went to my bed like this morning I, I went well this morning it was like after three it was kind of better today it was after three but every night i go to my bed late so this is like something that i'm gonna do keep myself occupied at least when i go to my bed late i could say okay i was frying fish so that's what i'm gonna do and of course, when you're frying fish, as my mother taught me, you should always have some candle in your kitchen. 
I do that. Scented candle. I'm using my stress-free um bath and body work stress-free candle. Stress relief, the eucalyptus and the, uh what's this? Eucalyptus and spearmint. So my kitchen smells good. So when that when that fish start frying, you won't, the whole the whole house won't smell of um of fish. Cause our house is like an open floor plan. So you know how that goes. But and yeah, I use gloves because I don't like to feel, you know, listen, I'm, I'm scared of this weather. This weather, let's talk about this weather. It's 27 degrees outside. And you can't use warm water to wash the fishes. You can't do that. So, I have to wash them in cold water. And ain't nobody going to touch this cold water. I'm not going to touch it. You know, we went on the went to the Jamaican supermarket since night. I had to have my nose covered. In the winter, my nose affects me. Like I don't know what's going on with my nose, but ever since I got here last year, my nose, the inside, like I have hair is swollen and it hurts, especially when it's cold. So, um, well, let me show what I'm doing while I'm talking. So you could actually see instead of looking at my face all the time. Oh, I am actually drying my fishes. I dry them and put them separately in the container. I dry them and then I season them. Because when you're frying, you don't want them to like pop up or anything. You know, so you actually... You fry. I don't know if you could see that, or I should let mm, guys be very, very patient with me, guys. Be very, very patient with me, girl, cause girl got issues with this camera thing. I got issues, y'all. So, um, what I'm actually doing? I'm actually drying them. That's what I like. I just do things my own way, as I told you before. For example, you know in the kitchen you use this to like strain your pasta. I use it to do anything that my that, that I feel like doing. I don't care. I use it to do anything. Alright? So I'm drying them. Because before I fry them, I like to get them dried. And then I put little slits in them. I put little slits in them after I dry them. So I'm just that's that's what I'm doing right now basically. I'm drying the the brown in one then first, see? And then putting the brown in them, then the black in <laughs> I don't want to say I'm racist on here. Anyway, I'm doing the goldfish first and then I do the others after. Yeah, ain't nobody wanna call me racist on this book on this show of mine or on my channel. I like to think it's like a show though, because I'm real as shit. There's no structure to this. There's no damn structure. So, can we talk about how when you're in America and anything goes on in Jamaica, it's the quickest way you could know. Just be in America. It's the quickest way you know shit. Because honestly, when I was in Jamaica, I did not. I don't know. I don't know news like how I know when I'm over here, especially on Facebook. If I wanna, actually, you know, we don't have, we do not have the Jamaican um, station over here. We don't have um, TVJ or, or CBM. I get my news from Facebook, y'all. Like Facebook, if you wanna know who died or if um, where I'm from, if there's a violent upsurge or something, I check Facebook. Facebook, random. So. I was supposed to do a story time to tell you how when I was talking to this guy, how his baby mother gave me nine days to live. 
But that's a, that's another story time. I can't tell you right now. I gotta like be prepared and I have to have a drink and stuff to tell you. Cause I'm high right now. I'm high. I had some wine earlier, and I'm having this grapefruit and vodka, but I really don't like it. I don't like how it tastes. It's kind of so bitter, like. And I don't talk like I can part because it's just bitter. But anyway, guys, the quickest way for you to know what's going on in your country is for you to tune into Facebook. Because Facebook got all the gist. I legitly don't use Facebook for anything else other than posting my pictures and checking the news. <laughs> the Jamaican news. That's what I do. But it's getting bad back home getting bad I mean everywhere have their um their little problems and stuff but literally where I'm from I don't like these little things on the fish the goldfish this I don't like it so normally just pick it off because I don't like it. it it's really evil I don't like seeing this so I like I just like you know pick it off before but Liberty Valley that's where I'm from and can we talk about how it's getting violent? And let me tell you something. I'm not going to be scared of going to my yard because of all these news. I'm not going to be scared of going to my yard. Mm -hmm. But it's sad. It's sad to know, though, that, the, that they're now targeting peaceful, peaceful places to do their wrongs, you know, peaceful places they're targeting to to these 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 um criminals and these um people, waste of a man or a woman, they're targeting the innocent communities now to prey upon. And it's just sad very very sad so now guys I'm going to do these I'm going to do the black kings now the black ones y'all finish doing these dry and everything oh and I, I didn't put I'm going to like I have, I have to like slice everything yeah but it's just bad how nowadays like yeah all the Americans coming for me this is how we do it in Jamaica I don't like to on a board or anything I just do it like this um, it's sad how communities that were once safe, they're not safe no more. You know, they're no longer safe. Because these criminals see it as it's like a new paradise for them now. You know, just this morning a girl I knew from like school days knew her from like school days and they actually robbers gunmen they say um forced their way into her house she got shot four times she was trying to block the door to save her um her daughter and her brother and they they, they shot four times she got shot she died but at least you know they saved her child or whatever but it's sad. Me and her, we're, we're actually the same age. Same age. Where did I see that on Facebook? So don't come for me. Don't come for me and say, oh, where do you get that news? We get it on Facebook. So if anybody's lying, Facebook is lying. And we all know. Facebook is not lying, y'all. She's dead. And she was my age. So, but we have to just pray. Pray for Jamaica. Pray for our country. Because let me tell you, nowhere is nicer than back home. I always hear people saying that, like Americans saying that. Like, not American, like Jamaican, like go abroad, they always say, okay, nowhere is better than the yard. But then I say, oh, probably no one will come over here, so 
that's why we all want to go back home someday if it's even to visit you want to go home i want to know that you're safe too so i just hope that the police does something but we all know those cops they, they they're not even targeting the person they're targeting the, the poor little taxi man trying to make a money the taxi man that's what who they go after they're not going after like the, the real, you know, the, 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 the thieves. They're not. And the criminals and the murderers, they're not going out for them. They're going out to, um, after innocent people. Innocent people they're going after. So they need to wake up, address the crime that's going on in the country. You know? And it's time enough to know that Brownstone has a state of emergency. We need a state of emergency in Brownstone, St. Anne. We need a state of emergency. We are going to have that. Yeah. You know. I should do a live. I was going to do a YouTube live, but i never done that before. So, I don't know how this is going to go. But, i never done a YouTube live before. But I'm probably do a live because this is gonna go into like church or something and it's but I should come back to you when I'm all when I'm like finished, you know. But guys, I have a story time to tell you. I'm gonna do it like probably tomorrow. Or probably later after I finish cooking. I'll do it. After I finish doing my escalated fish. These are the sprats, you guys. I am not going to call them no herring because to me they're just sprat. They look like sprat. They feel like sprat. They're tiny like sprat. And they're shiny ass like sprat. So to me it's just sprat. You know. These Americans call everything different thing. They call yam, potatoes and all that shit. So to me these are sprats. Don't these look like sprat to you? Sprat to me is sprat. Mary say, oh no, they are um they are on my what? What you say there? What did you say this the um tiny fish is the name of it is? Herring. Herring. Yeah. They call it herring. And this one, the head is off because he doesn't like the head on. So I keep the head on some and the head off some. Because you know, you have to compromise. You have to compromise. So I'm just like these the heads are off and I'm gonna fry these he said you have to butter them and fry them I'm not buttering this shit I'm just frying it just like this you have to like put some flour on it and fry it I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna leave the Jamaican way oh I know how to do it but guys thank you for tuning into my channel and I'm almost at 500 subscribers and I want to thank you all I don't want to wait until I reach like a thousand I keep a big ish about it no for me I just started YouTube like it was even three months I think it was three months ago and I haven't even been uploading a lot and to see I got like so much subscribers already it's unbelievable unbelievable so and you know we're doing this for fun we're not doing this for like money or anything we're doing this for fun fun just for the fact that you could come on here and you could express yourself you don't know who's watching you that's that's the cute thing you don't know who your subscribers are but you feel like we feel like we're all like family or sisters you know so it's good and besides there's too much testosterone in this house so Oh, excuse me. Don't know what I'm belching like that. Yeah, guys. Well, I'm praying for my little community, Liberty Valley. I'm praying because God knows no one go home. I want to go visit. I got to go visit. Ain't no doubt about that. And you want to go back and know that you are safe. Know that you are safe. Um, at least everybody know me already. They know some men on a rich farm. They know some men poor bad. So, <laughs> ain't nobody wanna um wanna kill my ass out there. Cause every friend like, oh, I'm afraid to go back to Jamaica. Cause no, and ain't nobody gonna do me shit. Cause they know I'm broke ass. I ain't got shit. So, but guys, 
I'm going to like fry these babies tonight. If anybody know what I can do to fall asleep at night, comment down below if you know some natural remedy for insomnia. I've suffered from insomnia when I, from I, was, I was at um, college. It actually developed when I was at college. Um, Jadine, she's a subscriber. Sometimes at 2 o'clock I'd be going to the bathroom and Jadine would have her light on. Yeah, she would. I mean, she probably would study. That's the same thing I do. I wait until everybody's sleeping and I, and I just like, you know, look over my work and stuff. Yeah. So I got this habit from college. This is something, it, it's not something I was born with. It was developed. Okay, it was developed. So all my fish now is dried. They're all dried now. And it's three different containers three different containers of fish you all can't see but one and let me show you the rest of them ah I'm gonna move this camera Ooh. I'm more saying helping hmm. he's out there watching whatever but this is my sprat then I have my porgy then I have this one the white ones so What I'm going to do now, I'm going to like blend up some seasonings and stuff. I'm going to, you don't, you don't need a lot, you just need like black pepper, some garlic powder, and salt. That's it, that's all you need for the season of the fish. But I take it a step further though. I don't tell nobody to say I season my fish. And then... Meanwhile, they're frying, guys. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to. Meanwhile, they're frying. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to like cut up my uh, carrot, onion, pepper, get my potato green and everything prepared for the sauce. So when they come out, I could just get the sauce going. But. on my fish. I'm just going to use some garlic powder, some all purpose, some ginger pimento, and black pepper. That's it. Nothing else I'm going to put on the fish. My mom was saying I should cut the garlic and stuff the head with it. I ain't got time for that girl. I ain't got time to stuff no fish with no garlic or nothing. They're going to get fried right away. So I just need powdered seasoning. That's all I need. I won't need anything else. So I'm not gonna put them over. I'm gonna like put it in a in a bowl and then rub it in. Put all the seasons in a little bowl. And you know, in Jamaica we don't measure. Oops. We don't. Why cover them? We don't measure. We just sprinkle until our ancestors tell us to stop. Ain't nobody got time to measure nothing. So. I'm looking at about say four pounds of fish I think so I'm not gonna use all of this but just some this will do I don't know how much you wanna call this but it's probably about three teaspoons for I don't know don't ask me I don't I can't tell you I know one day you know what I wanna do some potato porridge yes but I, I don't know how to get to the menu like you know to tell you what amount to put and what amount not to put because as I said I'm not like that that should be not going to follow for everything I'm thinking so that's how I do it guys I don't measure so I can't tell you how to do this dish I just know that I just been 
Even when I even when I used to watch my grandmother cooking, my grandmother makes the best cake, y'all. I don't care what nobody wanna say. She makes the best cake. I, I don't eat cake. I don't like cake. Neither do I bake. But I don't eat cake. I was growing up. I know how to do it though. I know. I we grew up, me and my cousins, if they're watching they can come in. We grew up having to my grandmother had a cake mixer. And we grew up having to put the butter and the sugar in a bowl. And our job was to mix that out until it's like cream. The butter and the sugar is creamy. Our little hands would be tired. And that's what we did. And then I am very funny. I never ate my grandmother cake. But the mixture that she makes, you know, after the cake is mixed. And then she's throwing, throwing it out in the um, the baking tin. After I would, I would lick out the bowl. Like, my Americans are watching. I would wipe out the ball in my hand and lick it off. And that's how I would eat my cake. I've never eaten the baked cake that she makes. Never. But, as we say in Jamaica, I always lick out the pan. Yes. I never, never, I was never fancy about cake. Alright, so what else I need to do in there now? A little bit of time. A little bit of time, guys. In it, I don't know. This escabeche fish has a lot of seasoning in it. Oh, and I don't know. I love this season. This season goes on everything in this house. Everything in this house, we use the season for. Oh, but when you see a look, mash up. But anyways, this season go with everything in the house. I'm going to my bed, y'all. I can't come on here in makeup and nothing like that. I'm not going to sleep anyways, but it's whatever. And what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm mixing up this. Mixing it up. Alright? Let me show you what I'm doing. So I'm mixing it up like this. And then, I'm going to take it and the fishes. I'm going to rub it in it, in every corner, in every crevice, and everything inside the belly. Everything gets some amount of seasoning. Okay, listen. That's how I do it. Okay, that's how I saw my mom doing it. That's how I uh, my well my grandmother she does it the same way too. But back in the days, not now. You know, that's how I grew up seeing it done, and it never killed me. Never killed me. So, if you all want to comment and give suggestion, give suggestion, but I don't want to hear you say that's not the way it's done. I don't care. That's the way all I do it. That's the way all I do it. There are a million and hundred ways to cook things. So, don't tell me how that my way is wrong or nothing. And don't tell me about no or nothing because I'm not using salt. Salt is already in the seasoning as I said before. I don't use salt because you are supposed to put salt on it but you know back in the day there weren't so many seasons so nowadays you don't have to do that because all of these seasons have salt in them. And that's how I do it. So my fish, when I fry my fish in this house, hmm, I just want to know that they're enjoying Once they're enjoying it, I'm okay. And I've never talked to a man before that doesn't enjoy my cooking, so, hey for that. Hey. Eh? Eh. For people, we not just only shop and stuff. We can cook up in here. We can. We are, are, we're not new or to the kitchen. The kitchen is not new to us. We know how to do our shit, okay? We know how to do our shit. Can't nobody tell us nothing. But people, um, for my channel, I wanna start doing some other stuff. You know, I can't be shopping all the time and doing hauls. Um, I have to curb my shopping behavior I have to curb my shopping behavior you guys because 
We need a house, okay? I need a big ass kitchen, not one where my ass is bumping into Morris's ass. You know, we won't got big asses, so <laughs> there you go. So I mean, that's why I cut down on a lot of my shopping. I've cut down on it because we need a house. I'm not pretending to you all like I'm not saying that we live in a we live in a very nice area, very nice area, and. Our apartment is not, it's not tiny. I mean, I've had visitors over, so it's not like a tiny ass apartment, but we need a house, you know? We need a house. So, in order for me to do that, I'm going to have to cut down on some of my shopping skills. So, there are going to be other ways, other things to do in this, on this hall, rather than just do hauls. Of course, I'm going to do my hauls still, but just not so frequently, you know? Because, you know, um, Black, um, Black Friday is coming up. So, what I've been doing, I've been saving up the coupons. So, they're going to shop. Okay? We're going to shop. But, for now, I'm taking it easy because, you know, I want, I, hope, I want money to shop on that day. I want money to shop on that day. So, I'm taking it easy. And this vlog is almost a hour. Oh, my goodness. Let me stop it. So, guys, thank you for watching, and I will come back and show you my excavate fish. Or you'll see my excavate fish in the clip after it's finished. You'll see how it looks, okay? So, thank you for watching. And next time I'll go live, I'll go live next time so I could all like talk to you, having to watch editing and stuff, okay? Bye, guys.